What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. Guys, 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 I did it again. I went up in Walmart and was shopping like I got a full-size house refrigerator back here at this campground. And I know I do not have nearly as much space as I need to put this food in that I bought from Walmart and the food that I already have in there. So I'm just gonna take everything out, try to reorganize it and get as much as I can in there. But before I get into the Walmart haul, I stopped at Dollar Tree. And I bought three of these little containers here because someone suggested that I buy something like this to put my Oh, my knuckles are, look at my knuckles. Oh my goodness, I need some lotion on these bad boys. Um, suggested that I put my rice and things like that in here. So I bought three of these and I'm going to go ahead and put my rice and my grits in these. Then I have to re reorganize my little pantry sections to accommodate these. All right, let's get into this Walmart haul. First, I had a craving for spaghetti, but with spaghetti, I didn't want to have the whole box of spaghetti left over and this, that, and the other. I knew a small jar of the spaghetti sauce would not be enough because noodles tend to absorb the, uh, the sauce so I bought these Rana fettuccine noodles at some point I'm going to fix some spaghetti I bought two packs of my favorite 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 hot dogs beef sausages two packs of these I love these I have to keep things in the, um, in my refrigerator that I can fix quickly. That if I'm on the road and I'm hungry, I want to pull over, you know, this, this is good to have because all I need to do is throw them in some boiling water and the bread and I'm done and no cleanup. Then, of course, I bought another one of these Rana Mills. This is the chicken carbonero fettuccine. Already, that's too much stuff to go into my refrigerator. <laughs> and this is what killed me at Walmart because they did not have a small pack of the chicken thighs. So I had to buy this gigantic pack of chicken thighs and Oh my goodness. These are definitely going in there. I'll put them in some um, sandwich bags. I probably had to take about three sandwich bags to put in there, but I definitely have to put these in the refrigerator. Now, instead of ground beef for my uh, spaghetti, whenever I fix it, I decide to go with these Italian sausages. I was looking for the spicy ones, but they didn't have the spicy. And this is the main reason why I wanted to go to Walmart because I could have gone to Food Lion, which was a shorter distance. I wanted some of these breakfast sausages. I've been on a bacon kick for the past, I don't know, throughout the whole summer, I've been eating bacon and I, I now have a craving for some sausages so I bought these big bag of sausages I'm gonna take them out of this pack here and put them in some sandwich bags to try to you know save some space then I bought two packs of the basami I said basami basmati rice and then, of course, 
my butter and garlic. I already have one of these. I needed some white rice like this because a lot of times, you know, I don't feel like making rice. You know, I don't feel like using the rice cooker or the pot. And this is just an easy, quicker way to do it. Plus I had some, some of that um, curry left over that I have in a sandwich bag. And I was like, you know what? I don't feel like making no rice. When I go to Walmart, I'm gonna buy some white rice and I'm gonna mix it up and have it with the uh, curry. And this is another one of my go-to quick uh, meals on the road or just in general. Oodles and noodles. I gotta have some oodles and noodles. I do have a couple packs of the udon noodles, but you know, that that's, I don't know. I like having these oodles and noodles. They're quick, I throw some broccoli in there with it, and it's really good. So gotta have me some oodles and noodles. I bought some barbecue sauce because I got all these chicken thighs and I need to fix them in different ways. So I'm gonna fix me some barbecue chicken. I'm gonna put it up on my little grill pan and grill that chicken and put some barbecue on it. And I also have some, some of these uh, Idaho garlic mashed potatoes that I had in there forever. So I figured it's time for me to use those as well and get that out of my pantry. Keeping along with the chicken to make a different type of chicken. I bought this uh, garlic parmesan wing mix. I said, okay, I'm gonna mix some of those uh, chicken thighs up once again, another day, throw them up on the grill and have a different taste of chicken. Now these two things will complete my spaghetti. I bought some Prego, tomato and basil and garlic and I always 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 put diced tomatoes in my spaghetti as well because it just gives that extra juiciness I don't like that that thick no juice type of spaghetti I like my spaghetti to be like wet and loose and this helps and plus add some more flavor to the overall dish now the next couple things that I show you guys is my sweetness. I have a sweet tooth and I get in a sweet tooth mode and I tried granolas. I have two boxes of granolas that I bought. I've eaten only three of them. I think when I get in the mood and I have want something sweet, I want something sweet. You know, I don't want, now these are not what I'm talking about, but I do love, love, love these uh, San, Santito's white corn chips because they are always only $2.69. And they are always, always, always so fresh. I like these things a lot. Now, some, now sometimes I will buy the uh, spinach dip and eat with these, but I don't have anywhere to put the spinach dip. I don't even have nowhere to put the, all this stuff that I bought. Here are the hot dog rolls that I bought for my, um, my hot dogs. Now, I forgot to get one thing because I bought two packs of hot dogs, which is, uh, I think it's six, 12 in a pack, I mean, six uh six in a pack and i bought two so i have 12 of them this is only eight rolls i i forgot to get some uh pork and beans because i'm gonna have four hot dogs left and a can of pork and beans would have been the perfect uh way to use those uh other hot dogs instead of me having to buy another pack of rolls so at some point in time i'm going to stop somewhere and get a can of pork and beans. And again, that's a nice, easy thing to fix on the road. Stop at a rest stop or wherever I am and fix some pork and beans and hot dogs, a little bit of sugar in it. I 
I also bought some eggs. I always get like six of them because I don't eat eggs a lot, but when I do, this will be sufficient. Now this is what I'm talking about when I start talking about my sweet tooth. Now I can pop some popcorn and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't satisfy the sweetness. So I made sure this time, I made sure this time that I was gonna have me some sweets. Bam, I bought some Hostess cupcakes. This is what I'm talking about. Bam, got to get some lemon up in there somehow. I bought some of these little lemon cakes. Now when I get a sweet tooth, I'll be satisfying it with a real sweet. And I bought some paper towels. Gotta keep paper towels around. Gotta keep them around. A little jug of water, cause I do have some bottled water, so I didn't need to buy any more like bottled water. And I decided to switch over from the Diet Coke and go with some Sprite this time. So I bought two of these eight packs of Sprite. This should last me for a minute, considering that I'm not even going to have any space in my refrigerator to put but probably one of these in there to keep cold. <laughs> All right, guys, that is my food haul, my Walmart food haul. I'm going to try and put all of this stuff as, away as best as I can. Um, I'll show you guys how much of it I was able to get into the refrigerator and that's it. And then once I do all that, I'm going to cook me um, some lunch. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna make a quick quesadilla for some lunch. It'll be nice and simple. Some mozzarella cheese. I hate when my hand is slippery and I can't get something open. I 
Ah, I wanted to use all this cheese so I don't have to find a place to store it in the refrigerator. And I know I'm not gonna use all this chicken. I like to push my chicken down in the cheese. These ingredients go a long way when you fix just like one tortilla. See, I already cut up too much chicken. Right, then we're gonna put some black pepper on it. Couple other seasonings. Some hot sauce. All right. Then we're gonna let that cook a little bit. Once I see the sides, Start like up, oh, piece of chicken. Now we're gonna flip this over and press down on it. I like when some of the cheese is coming out the side. Mm, mm, mm. I also, if you didn't notice, I cut some slits into the tortilla so that it can help it uh, get heated on the inside. Let's turn this down some. Oh yeah, I love when I see the cheese coming out the sides. We're gonna get at another, eh, little bit. Now I gotta get my, uh, my pizza cutter. Looking good, looking good. And that's it, guys. Ah, can't see. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It looked like a pancake to y'all, probably. But that's it. Nice little quick. Let's go over to the table. Either this table is lopsided or the ground that the table is on is <laughs> on a slant. Anyway, 
All right, maybe you can get a better view of it here. Good. These are so good. Mmm. I bought the wrong mozzarella cheese this time. I should have got the one that was a little more shredded because that one melts a lot better than the one that I have. I am really enjoying myself so far here, even though I've only been here for like a day. Um, as you guys can see, the weather is just perfect. The sun is out, got a little breeze. I can hear the trees blowing and it just feels really nice to be here. And it takes a little longer to chew this particular mozzarella. I think I'm going to hang out at the pool today because the best Wi-Fi reception is up at the pool area. Um, a few more people have come in. There are two more people at the tent site now. So I'm not here by myself. Mm. My camping buddy, uh, Adolfo, he's on his way here. He should have left this morning. I think he should get here maybe, uh, he said maybe Saturday or um, Sunday. He's coming from Texas. Um, uh, what is it? Amarillo, Texas. So it'll be good to see and hang out with him again. Ella, Ella, if you are watching this video, reach out, reach out via the FOA squad at yahoo.com email. Let me know if you're going to be around so I can come around and we can meet. Um, if not, I'm not going to go through Louisiana. I'm going to bypass Louisiana and go. Kathy will tell me, because Kathy told me all the states that I need to go through. If I go this way, you're going to go through Oklahoma. You're going to go through Texas. Kathy be telling me which way to go. <laughs> so if Ella um, does not reach out to me, um, I will not be going to Louisiana. I have been to Louisiana uh, three times already. I was going there just specifically to meet um, Ella and Eddie. So Ella, reach out if you uh, like for me to come by and meet you. <clears throat> this is pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. See this smudge bottle of cheese? Look at that. <laughs> that bad boy is really chewy. Mm. 
these dentures getting a workout. It took me four hours, four hours to upload that video, my last video. <laughs> four hours. I was like, Jimmy Crack Gordon, what is happening here? I don't remember the Wi-Fi being that slow here the last two times I were here. But anyway, probably won't be getting that many videos from this campsite. Maybe this one and maybe one more. All righty. Let's wrap this up. I went up to the bar last night. Had two drinks, which is uncharacteristic of me because I usually be like one drink and done. But the bartender, the bartender remembered that I like sweet drinks with very little alcohol in it. So we had a little discussion. I told him, you know, some pineapple juice, some orange juice. So he fixed me a drink that had pineapple juice, orange juice, cherry soda, and a little hint of rum. When I tell you, that drink was so good. That's why I had two of them. It was so good. And it didn't do anything to me. I didn't come back to my campsite like the last time. I had one drink, came back to the campsite, and backed into a tree and knocked my whole tail light out. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> and then I told Kathy, I said, oh, I'm not backing in. I'm When I go back to this campsite, I'm pulling in forward. <laughs> no backing in and trying to hit a tree again. <laughs> Woo. I hit that tree, boy, it was like, boom. Joe was like, you all right, Anthony? I was like, yeah. I just backed into a tree. And I didn't realize how bad it was until the, in the morning when daylight came and I actually saw it. The whole, all that little red stuff was all on the ground. Some of it was stuck in the tree. <laughs> I must have hit that tree good. As you can see with this site, I pulled in. Some of you keep on suggesting that I back in so that I can pull out during an emergency. Well, I don't like to back in because that means my front windshield is facing forward. And that means that my head on my bed is going to be on the slant side and I don't like that and if it's going to be an emergency I'm just gonna uh, but I don't like I don't like to um, I don't like to um, back in And the other reason why I don't like to back in, because depending on where you are, you're gonna see all the lights and stuff of cars coming, coming um, past you. Oh, I, don't, I don't like. Mm -hmm. No, I'm very very particular about my parking spots, and I'm um, I do very good at picking parking spots where. I can go in and now if it's a spot, let's say it's like a loves or something. I might back in there, but when you at those type of places and you're trying to sleep, you know, I feel weird about putting my, my front windshield thing up because then it's like, I really can't see anything. 
But at the same time, with the lights and everything, I know you close your eyes, it should be dark and you shouldn't see that and all that stuff. But I guess it's a, a, a par, par, partially mental. Well, I don't like the back end. I like to pull right in. In all my years, in all my years of doing this, I've never had, um, well, I had one creepy guy was creeping around my van and I knew exactly who that was because I saw him in the library a couple times. Then when I looked out the window, I saw him hurrying up, walking away. And I was like, oh Lord, I didn't see him at the library. And that's when he probably took notice of my van in the first place on the library parking lot. But anywho, I've never had a situation where I had to get up and then besides that little thingy there. So I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I like to pull in. And then when you pull in, sometimes it's like trees right there in front of you. You know nobody is going to park in front of you. Or it might be a wall or something right there. You know nobody's going to park in front of you. So I have my reasons of why I don't like to back in. All righty. All done. Good boy, Anthony. All right, guys. That's going to be a wrap for today's video, as always. Anthony, did your mother teach you not to talk with food in your mouth? Yeah, she did. But anyway, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys the next time. Hello.